What is up, guys? It's Nightmare Daily Gaming here, and I'm back doing another Best Attachments 4. I'm doing the MTAR this time. As I said, I was going to in the Type 25 video. Uh, on my MTAR, I have, of course, the ACOG site. I have the Quick Draw, not Quick Draw, Foregrip, I'm sorry, and the Stock. Uh, for the perks, I have Blind Eye, Cold Blooded, Scavenger, and Dexterity. Um, you're probably wondering why Cold Blooded because, uh, you know, that's something that you'd rather put for a sniper loadout more than the assault rifle loadout. Uh, necessarily that is true, you're right. But, it's also good to have for assault rifles because with assault rifles, you're constantly on the move. And, you know, that's the same, the same reason why I put Blind Eye also. Because with you constantly being on the move, uh, if someone puts like a UAV or something up, you are detected and, you know, you're kind of screwed there because if you're in the middle of the battlefield and there's someone near you, you are immediately detected. Uh, same for stealth choppers and all that. And, you know, it, it just sucks because then you're detected. So that's why I put uh, all those perks on it. I put uh, dexterity on it, that way, you know, to get that faster aim uh, thing there going. Yeah, faster aim. So, I'm going to explain uh, why I put the attachments on it. Uh, necessarily, I put the ACOG sight uh, because you get longer range on it more than just the iron sight. I put, I love the iron sight on the MTAR. It's beautiful. It works perfect for the MTAR. It's, you know, they did a really good job on it. Um, uh, but, you know, in this uh, gameplay, I prefer the uh, ACOG sight because of the range you can get with it. And especially on standoff, you can get some impressive range on it. And uh, that's this is actually the map I got a lot of my long shots on from my gold camo. So, you know, this is a good map for long shots and stuff, uh, for assault rifles, uh, submachine guns and stuff. So that's where you're gonna want. That's why you'll necessarily want to put a ACOG on it. Uh, put the stock on it that way. It's still just like a submachine gun. You move just as fast. Uh, that's also one reason why I put the foregrip on it. I put another. Another reason why I put the foregrip on it, not only does it help with speed as far as uh, turning around corners and stuff, it also helps with accuracy a lot because uh, you're able to just focus on uh, your gun and just hold it into a steady place. Why, as if you didn't have any type of foregrip on it or quick handle, you're just kind of just letting it hang on your hand and um, it kind of can just go nuts on you. So, you know, you'll necessarily want either quick draw or the foregrip. In this gameplay, I prefer the foregrip because of the map that I'm on. It also depends on the map you're on. Like if if I was on hijacked, I would personally rather have the quick draw. And uh, this is actually one reason why I don't like uh, reflex and all that as far as on the intar, because if you get EMP, you were done. You know, you're just gonna have to look for uh, the little target triangle thing and just hopefully you can get something in there, but. And it's going to be really slim that you're not because it's really tough for you to just hit that target until uh, your reddit kills come back. So, you yeah, know, well, good luck there. Um, so, it's it's a good set there. You can get some great kills with it. Uh, guys, this gameplay does cut short, unfortunately, because my host connection got lost and everything. So, that kind of does suck because it was going well. Um... You know, the gameplay was good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved the gameplay. It was really good from a uh, little time that I had to practice with the MTAR. I haven't used the MTAR in God knows how long. So, these guys for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe for more videos. And I'm Nightmare the Gamer. My next gun is the MP7. I'm signing out.